What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to a Whiff of This. This is where I check out new and old fragrances. I unbox them, get my first impressions, and after that, I smell them on skin and on paper. Today, I'm adding another YSL fragrance to my collection, and that is none other than La Nuit de Lome EDP. This one actually retails for about $150 for the 3.3 ounce. I got it off a of Joma shop for $91. That was with tax and shipping. Um, you can also get it off of FragranceNet for about $101. It is fairly recent. It was released in 2019, so it is still pretty new. The main reason I actually got this one was because of Andrea from Curly Scents, so shout out to her. She put me onto this one, and uh, honestly, after watching a bunch of the reactions, women's reactions, both men and women reactions, it seems like this one is definitely better than the regular uh, La Nuit de Lome. With all that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Alrighty, so this one I actually shipped through uh, USPS Priority Mail, and well, let me just go ahead and say their priority was not this package because it took literally like a week and a half to get here so as far as joma shop their shipping can definitely be iffy uh they do have better deals but you will have to be patient so in a sense it is kind of worth it or you could just go with fragrance and and get the thing in like three days <laughs> um let's go ahead and unbox this thing get this box i'm definitely gonna have to get another knife because this one's doubling out on me but um that's all good. All right, so as you see here, it actually came in this type of packaging, this bubble wrap. Uh, let's go ahead and open it. It's actually already kind of open a little bit. I feel like I can kind of smell it. Okay, no, I'm tripping. I, I actually can't smell it. It's it's uh, it's S Boy behind me. Uh, really quick too, I got an amazing compliment from S Boy today, which is I think May 20, what? May 26, 2023. Lady literally came from the back of the kitchen and was like, you smell amazing. She could smell it from the kitchen. I do like the packaging, it's pretty nice. I like the orange. Uh, the orange is very nice and bright. Love the way that looks, very glossy finish as you see there. Nothing really much on the side. It's like a matte gray type of finish. We got the YSL logo on top. E Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lome, Eau de Parfum. 3.3 ounces. Uh, 100 milliliters. All right, let's open this thing up real quick. I am going to go over the notes really fast just so we can kind of get an idea of what I'm about to smell. But I do want to go ahead and look at this bottle. Ooh, black top. Nice. Yo, this might be one of the best looking. It's so amber. I like that gradient. I really like that gradient. Wow. I don't know if this is going to be a fingerprint magnet like uh, a lot of the other YSL perfumes because... Where is it at? This one right here, Loam. It smells amazing. As you can see, I've used this juice a lot, but it is a fingerprint monkey, man. Let me tell you. I mean, you. every time I clean it off with a microfiber, it still gets dirty. Like, it doesn't matter what I do, it gets really nasty. Okay, so I'm gonna read the notes off of basenotes.com. Top notes are gonna be grapefruit, cardamom, Heart notes are going to be lavender, clary sage, and then base notes are going to be sandalwood and patchouli. I'm a really big fan of patchouli, really big fan of when they put grapefruit and sandalwood. I don't know. I have a feeling this may smell kind of similar to Spice Bomb because they do have similar notes. Um, lavender smells really good in fragrances, but let's go ahead and see if anyone sprayed this thing. Got my paper here. Let's go ahead and do it. One, two, three. Okay. So it took two. That's really nice. It's got this nice, the flower note, the lavender is coming in a lot on the paper. You know what's funny is that I don't, I'm not a fan of lavender scents as far as like just straight lavender. I just was never been a fan. I don't know what it is with lavender. I love the way lavender looks. I like the color of lavender. But for some reason in fragrances, they smell amazing. I do get those citrus notes for sure that grapefruit is coming in a little bit on paper. I get a lot of like the cardamom, the lavender, and probably like those woody notes. I'm going to probably wear this tomorrow anyway, so I'll spray it on my shirt, my uh, arm, and then my other arm. Here we go. One, ooh, atomizer, crazy. Two and three. Atomizer is very strong, but it's really nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, the perfume, what, what you got for me? Okay, I get a lot of the woody notes right now. And I do smell the grapefruit, it's very light, but I'm getting a lot of like the woody notes and then the lavender. But this is very good. I must say, I gotta give it overall on a scale of one to 10, just. Off the bat, I think I'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of 10. Uh, it definitely could get better though. I do feel like this could get better. Uh, I may do a little battle between S-Boy for him and this one just to see what people are thinking about this. Let me know if you have this record in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. But until next time, peace out.